The real reason we're fat and sick. It's not eating too much or not moving enough. Did you know that despite eating less and moving more, we're still getting fatter and sicker? It's a shocking paradox that contradicts everything we've been told about health and weight management. Welcome to our in-depth exploration of a crucial and perplexing issue. The real reasons behind our increasing rates of obesity and chronic diseases. Today, we'll uncover the hidden factors contributing to this epidemic and challenge the conventional wisdom that blames it solely on overeating and inactivity. For decades, we've been inundated with the simplistic notion that weight gain and obesity are merely a result of consuming more calories than we burn. The calories in versus calories out mantra has shaped public health policies, weight loss programs, and individual efforts to maintain a healthy weight. Yet, despite widespread adherence to this principle, obesity rates continue to climb, and chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and metabolic syndrome are becoming more prevalent. This prevailing misconception overlooks the complex interplay of factors that influence our metabolism and overall health. Focusing solely on caloric intake and physical activity fails to address the underlying causes of our deteriorating health. It's time to delve deeper and uncover the real culprits behind our weight and health issues. The role of processed foods, one of the most significant contributors to our health crisis, is the ubiquity of processed foods in our diets. These foods are often high in added sugars, unhealthy fats, and artificial additives, which can wreak havoc on our metabolism. Unlike whole natural foods, processed foods are engineered to be hyper-palatable, making it difficult to stop eating them. This leads to overconsumption and disrupts our body's natural hunger and satiety signals. Processed foods are also stripped of essential nutrients and fiber, which are crucial for maintaining a healthy gut and regulating our metabolism. The lack of fiber in processed foods can lead to blood sugar spikes and crashes, causing cravings and overeating. Moreover, the additives and preservatives in these foods can disrupt our gut microbiome, which plays a vital role in our overall health and weight regulation. The sugar epidemic. Sugar, particularly in its refined form, is another major player in our obesity and health crisis. It's hidden in a vast array of foods and beverages, often masquerading under different names like high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, and maltose. Consuming excessive amounts of sugar leads to insulin resistance, a key factor in weight gain and the development of type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance occurs when our cells become less responsive to insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. As a result, our body needs to produce more insulin to keep blood sugar in check, leading to higher insulin levels in the bloodstream. Elevated insulin levels promote fat storage and make it difficult to lose weight. Additionally, sugar consumption can trigger inflammation, which is linked to numerous chronic diseases, including heart disease and cancer. Hidden Ingredients and Chemicals Beyond sugar and processed foods, our modern diet is laden with hidden ingredients and chemicals that can negatively impact our health. These include artificial sweeteners, trans fats, and emulsifiers, which are often added to improve taste, texture, and shelf life. While these additives might make food more appealing, they can have detrimental effects on our metabolism and overall well-being. Artificial sweeteners, for example, can disrupt our gut microbiome and alter our body's response to insulin. Trans fats found in many processed foods can increase the risk of heart disease and inflammation. Emulsifiers, used to keep ingredients mixed together, can affect gut health and contribute to metabolic disorders. Industrialized food production. The impact of industrialized food production on our health cannot be overstated. The modern food industry prioritizes profit over nutrition, leading to the mass production of cheap, calorie-dense, and nutrient-poor foods. The use of pesticides, antibiotics, and growth hormones in agriculture further compromises the quality of our food and our health. Pesticides used in conventional farming can remain on our produce, even after washing, and have been linked to various health issues, including hormone disruption and cancer. Antibiotics used in livestock farming can contribute to antibiotic resistance and alter our gut microbiome. Growth hormones, used to increase the size of animals, can affect our hormonal balance when we consume these products. The food industry's influence extends beyond production practices to marketing and policymaking. Aggressive marketing campaigns promote unhealthy foods, particularly to children, shaping their preferences and eating habits from a young age. The industry's lobbying efforts also impact public health policies, often prioritizing corporate interests over public health. In summary, our modern diet and food environment are major contributors to the obesity and health crisis. The emphasis on processed foods, the hidden sugars and chemicals in our diet, and the industrialized food production system all play significant roles in undermining our health. It's clear that the issue is far more complex than simply eating too much or not moving enough. We invite you to share your thoughts on this topic. 
How has your diet changed over the years? And what steps are you taking to improve your health? Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content on health and nutrition. And let's continue this important conversation together.